Welcome to this new episode of BizJet TV, all about the Beechcraft Denali. Very interesting airplane, so we're going to be covering this and showing you footage of the airplane shortly. But before we start, uh, two things. Subscribe to my newsletter, uh, which has just come out now. It's called Biz Aviation World, so you can click on the link below to subscribe to that. Get yourself a copy of The Quantum Economy, my new book, out talking about business entrepreneurship, of course, private jets. Stories in here of a number of entrepreneurs that have used a private jet to build their empires. So check this out. It's really, really interesting. And of course, subscribe to Bizjet TV if you haven't done so already. But anyway, let's get into the Beechcraft Denali. This is an evolution of the what they call the Cessna Delaney or uh, King Air Delaney. They had a few different names. What they've done on this, they've put a new uh, engine on it, the Catalyst turboprop engine on this aircraft. It's going through certification. The first ones will be delivered in 2025. That's when it's going to enter service. Price tag, pretty high, $7 million. But even the competitors, you know, the TBM, slightly less, and so is the PC-12. Uh, but this airplane, you know, is an American airplane. So it's built and manufactured in the United States, which I think where it's going to have the edge. Um, and it's got Garmin 3000 avionics, which is great. Uh, so there's a TBM. Uh, so that just makes things a lot easy to fly in that. Ceiling is 31,000 feet. Range 1,600 nautical miles, which is good. 285 knots on the speed. One pilot plus four passengers on the 1600 nautical mile range. So um, the other thing is it has that feature where if the pilot passes out or is incapacitated, the passenger can press the button and the airplane will land on its own. It's got all the throttle, um, all part of the new Garmin system, which is which is really, really convenient. Uh, it just needs 900 meters for takeoff, uh, which is just 2,950 feet. So short strip can land on grass, of course. So it's great access to lots of landing strips all over the United States and elsewhere in the world. Operating cost about $1,100 an hour, uh, depending on price of fuel and that. So quite economical. It's got a nice convenient cargo door at the back, which is good. Um, and, uh, you know, it's comfortable, good airplane. It's got sturdy landing gear as well. So it can sustain, you know, those harder landings. Um, so that's also a, a good thing on this airplane. Now, interestingly enough, this market, there's about 160 to 180 of this type of SUVs in the sky that are being delivered currently every year. This number is on the increase and will continue to increase simply because of after COVID 19s and that, a lot of people decided, you know what, I'm going to learn to fly. It's a tax write off, my flying lessons buying the airplane, it can be a whole tax write-off, uh, but above all, the convenience of having your own airplane that you can park in your backyard, in the hangar, on your ranch, take off from your grass strip and go anywhere you want. So you can literally wake up in the morning and decide you're gonna go somewhere to visit a client or take your family on a, on a road trip or whatever you wanna do. And you can just load everybody into your SUV in the sky, take off with your Beechcraft Denali and, and off you go. Um, and in particular, in the northwestern part of the United States with the mountainous regions and that, um, you know, this is really, really convenient to be able to go above the mountains and land. If you're going from somewhere like Cedar City in Utah to Durango in uh, in um, Colorado, it takes 12 hours by car with your Denali in an hour. You're there, hour and a half. So it's really, really quick. Uh, so it's very, very convenient for those kind of uh, trips. And of course, being an airplane that can land on grass and unpaved runways, you've got so many possibilities to land this thing. Um, so I think this is uh, this is you know um, going to do well. I'm a bit critical of the price because seven million dollars, seven million dollars, you can buy a jet. Um, but you know, again, it, it, you can write it off tax-wise. It's an airplane that will appeal to certain people, a bit like cars. Um, so certainly worthwhile looking into. Um, it's got Textron behind them. Textron, you know, owns Cessna. Uh, they've got a lot of money, they've got a lot of expertise with aircraft, with maintenance and spare parts and all that kind of thing. So you've got that infrastructure, you've got that ecosystem around the airplane, which I think is 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 going to be a plus also. So let me know what you think about this. Um, is this something you would buy? Um, do you think the price point is too high? Um, what do you think comparing it to the PC-12, the TBM? Uh, do you think this is a better airplane or not? Um, I'd like to hear from you. Let's get the conversation going. Remember to get yourself a copy of The Quantum Economy by clicking on the link below. And also subscribe to my newsletter, uh, Biz Aviation World, which you can click on the link below, which will take you to that. And also subscribe to BizJet TV and check out this other video we did recently about the new Honda Jet Elite 2, which is an interesting jet if you're into jets and you need a bit more range and speed, uh, then maybe you're in the market for a jet. And that's all from Polito Poly here on BizJet TV, and I'll see you on the next one.